Hi, Sheree Sokomoto with Caliber Real Estate Group here with the February uh, market update. It's February 11th and I've got listened to Barry Habib for the first time. Um, he predicted the crash the last time on um, the real estate market in 2006-07. Um, so different, a little, slightly different perspective, but very interesting. This show, this first uh, graph shows that as debt increases, interest rates decline. So what he is saying is that rates will, con will may spike slightly this year, but very slightly, but will continue a downward trend. Um, with the government uh, pushing out the stimulus, obviously that's gonna increase our debt. It's not just in the United States, this trend is, you know, France, Japan, Italy, the UK, you see it as debt increases, interest rates decline. So first time I've heard that, and maybe it's common knowledge, but it's the first time I've heard it. So I thought that was very interesting. He's saying that, like I said, they, they may bump slightly higher, but will continue the downward trend. Um, what we typically hear, and this is who we use, usually use is KCM, and Freddie Mac is saying that interest rates will increase um, probably to about 3% by the end of this year and then bump into the low 3% in 2022. So just a slight variation. He's thinking that they're going to stay a little bit lower through 2022. So either way, interest rates are going to stay relatively low um, through the end of 2022. Now, also something very interesting that Barry Habib um, looks at is that he is looking at the upcoming home buyer and the average age of a, of, of a home buyer is 33 years old. So if you look at this graph, we have 66 million millennials who are about to come into the real estate market to purchase their first home. Now, if you go back to 1976, when you see this drop right in the Gen X, um, Time of time, time period, you can see that there was a, a drastic decline. And what that correlates to is 2006, seven, when those people were born, they were at that age of 33 years old when they should be buying their first home. But you see the drastic decline in the number of people who were born. So obviously there's gonna be a lot less home buyers. And at that point in 2006, seven, we had a, at a surplus in inventory. The case right now, we are at all time lows. We're in the city of Orange, we're down 20, 20 some odd percent um, from a year ago as far as available homes to purchase. So now we see we don't have an oversupply and a, and a lower demand of people. We have the opposite happening, um, which is why he's predicting that nationwide prices are gonna go up 6%. And we know here in California that we are typically higher than the national average, which means prices are gonna to continue to go up. Interest rates will continue to stay low through 2022. 20, uh, May not be in the twos, but still pretty low. So if we look at inventory here, like I was saying in 2007, we had 3.7 million homes available. Right now, nationwide, we have 1.28 million. So that have, we're well below the average. And if all those people came who are who are in active forbearance right now came to the market, we would go back to being at an average um, inventory level. And at the average inventory level, with the increased number of people coming into the marketplace, um, we're still going to not have enough homes for home buyers to purchase. So again, that lack of supply, increased demand means prices are gonna to continue to go up. Um, so if you're thinking about purchasing, now is the time to do it. Um, if you're wanting to sell and you're not sure where to go because the purchase market is so tight, we have a couple of programs that um, we're coming out with this year. So stay tuned, uh, reach out to us if you're interested, um, but we'll be rolling that out in the next, hopefully in the next month or so. Um, again, if you want our buyer seller guides, they're on our website, check those out. Uh, if you want more tips on selling, buying, check out our YouTube channel. We have the buyers um, playlist, a seller's playlist, and of course all the monthly market reports there. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Hope you're having a great day so far. Um, 
and Barry Habib is who I got most of that information from. Check him out. Um, different than what I've been putting out there, but very interesting to look at the different perspective on looking at the um, population as, as a predictor to what's gonna happen in the real estate market. So again, thank you for watching. Let us know if you have any questions.